oh my god I can't wait to show you guys the pile of books I'm gonna have on my bed at the end of this video it's absolutely ridiculous hi I'm finally in my new apartment and it is time to go through all my books that I've packed and brought over here and figure out what books I'm keeping and what books I'm unhauling so let's go through all my books every single one of them firstly a little bag of books which I had on the go during my move and that would include Akira which is a book that I read in the last couple weeks and this is a manga that is now my favorite manga ever this is like the best manga I've ever read and I will definitely be keeping this and every volume that I own in the future I also read the boy the mole the fox and the horse it's a really beautiful book but yeah I read this children's book in the last few weeks as well loved this book I thought it was like one of the best children's books that I've ever read so definitely keeping this. Also read this book in the last few weeks and gave it a solid four out of five. So yeah I'll be keeping this and the rest of the series because I still enjoy them apparently when I'm 23. And then we've got And the Mountains Echo. This is by Khaled Hosseini, one of my favorite authors ever so definitely keeping this. We which is a sci-fi dystopian classic that my dad gave me. I want to read this in the future so keeping this but I will give it back to my dad eventually so this probably won't actually go on my bookshelf at all. That's one bag. One bag down the other bag <laughs> what the hell this is literally a brick this is inheritance which is one of the books in the Aragon series by Christopher Poloni I got this off my boyfriend recently and I want to be reading this series after I'm done with the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson so I'm gonna keep this and the other fantasy series that I want to be looking at reading next would be the Assassin's Apprentice series by Robin Hobb and this is Royal Assassins that's one in the trilogy I think it is so I'll be keeping this on me for now this is the other Aragon book in the trilogy be keeping that oh my god wait no how many are there oh no don't tell me there's more than three are you number four <laughs> Four. Another Robin Hobb from the same series that I want to read. That's a trilogy, I'm pretty sure. The Picture of Dorian Gray, which I want to read sometime soon. Borrowing this off someone, though. I think this might be a joke. This has to be a joke. Okay, so my boyfriend recommended me The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, like when I first was getting to know him and we were first friends. I bought my own copy and I ended up giving it like a one out of five stars. Like I absolutely hated it. And I'm pretty sure that this is my boyfriend's copy and he just randomly put it in the pile of books that I asked for him to give me of his books. I do not like having two copies of this. Um, this also is probably my boyfriend's copy. I think he might have accidentally left these in the bag but he's actually meant to take these so I'll be giving these back to him. Okay I've got a box of books here let's quickly go through these. So we've got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix that's number five of the Harry Potter series. We'll be keeping this. I really love Harry Potter. Small Pleasures from Book of Life. Keeping this I haven't read it yet so I need to keep this and read it. Number two in Harry Potter. Keeping this. Number four be keeping that one in Harry Potter. Sharp Objects. I've read this. I hated it. I will be unhauling this a hundred percent. You're my first proper unhaul. Woohoo! One. Okay, Boy in a Striped Pajamas. Really like this book. I'm keeping it. Eleanor on Park. I gave this a free. I don't think I want to keep it. I don't think I like it enough. I'm gonna unhaul this. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I really like Patrick Ness. I don't particularly like this book book per se but I think actually this isn't even my copy this might be my sister's so I'm giving this back to my sister or brother whoever I got it from I got it from someone I can't remember who that's going in the giving back to someone pile wayward son and carry on which is a series by rainbow Rowell. I will be keeping these because I love this book and also the third book is coming out in this series soon so I want to keep these books and read the third one later this year and then I'll have the trilogy which I like this is my Sister's Keeper by Jodie Bacall and then also Perfect Match. I haven't read this yet. I think I want to keep this to read it and I read this a while ago but I really I think I liked it quite a bit so I might keep this because these are my mum's books. Looking for Ella Brandy. I read this. It's one of my mum's books. Um, that she recommended to me and I think I have this which is my copy and also my mum's copy But yeah, I didn't like it enough to keep it. I don't think I'm gonna give this away How to speak so people really listen my auntie gifted this to me and I liked it quite a bit I think I'll keep it this and this I still haven't read them So I need to keep them and read them mm -hmm. 
I think I liked this quite a bit. I didn't like the movie very much, but I think I liked the book quite a bit. I'm gonna keep that. Chinese Cinderella, loved this, keeping it. Gotta keep The Smiths because I haven't even read it yet. Grand Design by Stephen Hawking's keeping it. My Year of Rest and Relaxation. I'll keep it. I like the cover and it wasn't a horrible book. I liked it. I liked the book. I'll keep it. The Host. I want to read The Host by Stephanie Meyer. She's the same author as Twilight for anyone that doesn't know. I think I won't like it, but I want to read it before I do give it away. But I'm pretty sure I will not like this book and I will end up giving it away at some point. Wolf by Wolf. A book that I read for YA YouTube because everyone was raving about it and I absolutely hated this book. I'm giving it away. The Story of Tom Brennan. I read this for high school and I really didn't like it, giving that away. Fair Box. I got this as a gift from my sister and I haven't read it yet so I'm gonna keep this. The Girls. I did not like this book. Another book that I read for booktube YA and it just was not a good time. I'm getting rid of that. Dark Places by Gilligan Flynn. I'm keeping this because I want to read this. I haven't read it yet but I think I might actually like it. And then another one that's on my TBR, The Burry Giant, will be keeping this. Norwegian Wood. I gave this a one star. I hated this book. The thing with this book is that I really love Murakami. He's one of my favorite authors of all time. And I want to collect all his books in this edition. So I'm going to keep this book. This might be the only one star book I'm going to keep just because of this name. See you later. I'm not keeping you. There's no way I'm keeping you. I don't like this book because I feel like she wrote it just for the money. However, I also don't like this book because like J.K. Rowling is like getting super transphobic lately. I mean, she always has been, but she just can't seem to shut up about it. And I don't really want to have J.K. Rowling if I don't have to have her on my bookshelf. So essentially that means Harry Potter or Get Out. I'm not supporting anything else that she brings out. So getting rid of you. I've got two copies of The Deathly Hallows. I'm going to keep my copy that I originally bought and read when it came out, which is also the paperback and it suits all the rest of the series that I have. And I also picked up this like sort of thin hardback cover like secondhand a few years ago, but I don't need two copies. So I'm going to give this away. I'm unhauling this. Octavia E. Butler, Seed to Harvest. Keeping this. I haven't read it yet. Wild Sheep Chase by Murakami. I want to pick this up super soon. Keeping it. And then Kafka on the Shore. Love this book. Keeping this one as well. It's Murakami love for you all. The Shining by Stephen King. Haven't read it yet. We'll read it soon. And also Philosopher's Stone by uh, J.K. Rowling. I'll keep this. This is my mum's copy actually. This is super sentimental to me. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Haven't read this yet, but we'll be keeping it. Maze Runner. I liked this quite a bit. I will be keeping this, I think. Throne of Glass. A book I picked up because of YA Booktube, but then I started reading all the other YA Booktube books that were hyped up and I hated all of them. So I never ended up picking this up because I feel like I'll hate it. I'll keep it and I'll try it, but we'll probably give this away. The Book Thief. I need to give this another go, but also same thing as Friend of Glass, we'll probably give this away eventually, but maybe next unhaul. Jasper Jones, love this book. Classic Australian literature here. Keeping it. Fucks being a wallflower. I'm young. Of course I own this. I didn't hate this book. I thought it was fine, but yeah, I do really love this version as well that I have. I think I'll keep it. Everything, everything. I don't want to keep this. I don't think I'll like this. I sort of have a pretty strong feeling that I don't want to waste my time in a book like this. I picked it up at a time where I was feeling like really positive and like, oh, maybe I'll read this, maybe I'll read that. And it's actually my mum's copy. So I'm going to give this back to my mum. This is going to be such a long video. <laughs> so yeah, it's been, it's been decided. So this is my copy. So I'm going to give back. So many books just fall on the floor. Oh my God. This is my copy. So I'm getting rid of this copy and I'm giving my boyfriend's copy back to him. There's no more name of the wind in my house. Keeping this book, this is my boyfriend's copy, but I need to read them first and I'll give them back to him. Same thing with Aragon. Mistborn, keeping this obviously. I love this series a lot. New Moon, Breaking Dawn and Eclipse. I'm gonna keep these. They mean a lot to me. Another YA series I really like, which is the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness. I really want to keep these and I really love them. Haven't read this yet. I'm keeping it. And these. I'm gonna get rid of these. I never particularly enjoyed the books very much. I thought they were slow, boring, and not much ever happened for the amount of pages I was reading. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. Going to keep all of these. Frankenstein, 
my favorite book of all time, Lolita, really liked it, and these two I haven't read yet, so keeping them. I will probably keep most of my classics. I'm pretty happy with my classic shelf. Yep, I'll keep both of these. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end up keeping all of my little orange penguins. If you want to see a more in-depth shot of my orange penguins, then you can go watch my bookshelf tour. And then with all my other books, I will be getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of that. Like, this is freaking A Doll's House and Other Plays. I tried to read it. It sucked. It was so boring. Island of Dr. Moreau. Really excited to read this. Keeping it. Haven't read it yet. A very tattered Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> we'll be keeping it. I haven't read it yet. And this is one of my favorite books of all time. Lewis Carroll. Adventures in Wonderland. Emma, I haven't read. I'm keeping it. Dracula? Whoa, wait. That's the book I'm getting rid of. I'm gonna get rid of my orange Dracula. But this is my nice version of Dracula, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. Catcher in the Rye, I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. I'll keep it. And Birdie, I haven't read yet. I'm going to give The Man in the High Castle back to my dad. I tried to read this and I thought it was like, whatever. I, and I remember I got like 80 pages in and I really didn't like it, so I'm just gonna give it back to him. This is, this is definitely getting unhauled. I read this book for high school it's got all my yeah it's got all my writing in it but i didn't really like this book it's called the member of the wedding i got two copies of it and i really don't want it so i'm gonna get rid of it great expectations haven't read it castle i'm keeping crucible i'm keeping this is a book i did read for high school and i actually quite liked it animal farms one of my favorite books of all time single man i really like this book keeping it Hobbit, keeping. Slaughterhouse Five, keeping. The Bell Jar, keeping. King Henry, keeping. And I love this book. And another book I love, The Beach. This is my mum's copy of Fearing and Loathing in Las Vegas, keeping this book. Getting rid of this. Miss Dalloway. Ew. And then also Beautiful and the Damned, keeping this one as well. Oh my god, I can't wait to show you guys the pile of books I'm gonna have on my bed at the end of this video. It's absolutely ridiculous. Crime, I haven't read this yet, so I'm gonna keep it. Our Last Dancer, I love this book, I'm keeping it. The Little Coffee Shop of Kabul, this was my mum's copy, so I'm gonna see if my mum wants this back, but I don't want it. Persepolis 2, this is. I don't have number one, but I, I have read them, and I really liked it. These are really good. These are really good graphic novels if anyone wants good graphic novels. Novels. I'm gonna keep it. 19 minutes. I haven't read it yet by Jodi Bacall. I need to keep this and read it. Band the Splendid Sons, one of my favorite books of all time. Heartstopper, volumes one and two. Hmm. Hmm. I think I want to keep them. I think I enjoyed them enough as a whole, one, two, and three, to keep them, even though number three sort of sucked. The Cuckoo's Calling, I'm getting rid of this because I don't really want JK Rowling in my life much anymore. Shadow of the Wind, I haven't read this yet, so I'm keeping it. A book that I've been really interested to read for a really long time, Finnegan of the Rock. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, but I've never read it. Keeping this, I'm gonna read it. I'll Give You the Sun, love this book, keeping it. Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford, I haven't read this yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. And then, I'm keeping all my little modern classics. Sports of Nanushka, which is like a poem collection that my mum loved growing up and I really like, so I'm keeping this. And Wuthering Heights, one of my mum's favorite classics growing up. I haven't read it yet, I'm gonna keep it. God, where's all these boxes gonna go, dude? I'm keeping all the Ronald Dahl that I have, because Ronald Dahl's one of my favorites. And I'm also gonna keep the Del Toro request I have. I really love this series. I need to own all of them and then I want my kid to read them eventually. I'm also gonna keep all of my Ina Blyden. I really loved Ina Blyden growing up. Wildwood, I'm gonna give back to my brother because I don't think I'm gonna read it soon enough that it warrants me having it on my bookshelf for so long. And I know that he likes this book or at least he likes to comment on the fact that it's his. So he can have it back. I got these witch books that I used to love growing up reading, but I don't think that like, I never actually read the story or remember anything about it. I just liked it for the comics at the start of the book. and. I I only have one and 11, so I'm just gonna like get rid of these, I think. I'm gonna keep all my Selby books. I'm gonna keep my dictionary, because it's always good to have a dictionary. My Bible, my good news Bible. The reason I have this is because I went to a Catholic school for a couple years when I was younger. I think I wanna keep this just because like, it's one of the only things I really have from that time in my life. I might just keep this because it reminds me of going to that school. Then we've also just got the Carol Wilkerson dragon trilogy thing that I read when I was younger. I wanna keep these, I really like them. And then Sold, I'm a little torn on you. I don't really remember reading you too much, but I think I remember you being like quite 
impactful. I'm gonna keep this. Number three is mine. I know that. Keeping this, that's also my favorite in the series. It's literally exhausted from carrying these boxes. Then number 13 is the other one that's my copy. The rest of them are either my brothers or my boyfriends. So I gotta figure that out. So these are my brothers. They're going back to my brother. I've got number four, five, and seven for my brother. I've got numbers eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 going back to my boyfriend. What is that in the way? Oh my God, that is a book. Crime and Punishment. I'll be picking this book up next. Let me try and get this right. It's Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. 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 I got it. I got, I'm like learning here. Like this is great. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I've been told to read this by so many people in my life. So this will also be the next book I'm picking up. So this is like my immediate TBR. Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I really like this book. I'll be keeping it. Number one in the Lord of the Rings series. This is another fantasy series I want to pick up soon. So I got this book off my dad. A lot of these books, like for instance, this one and this one, I've gotten off family members. So I'll be giving them back to family members after I read them. So we've also got Severance by Ling Ma read this recently loved it gonna keep it and then also a book that I picked up recently is the ballad of the songbirds and snakes I am so excited to read it and I think I might actually really like it because I've heard it's very like political I'm intrigued for sure and this will also probably be in my immediate TBR as well immediate TBR notes from the underground I got this off my dad it's also Dostoyevsky and I want to read this soon as well he's one of those authors that I feel like I should have read already and I need to catch up that's how I feel about him honestly some more immediate TBR, Little Prince, and what I talk about when I talk about running. The Sailor Who Fell from Grace of the Sea. I recently read this and I liked it enough to keep it, I think. Here we go. Death Note. Keeping. Love it. Hunger Games. Keeping. Loved it. The Kite Runner. And Tender is the Night. Haven't read this, but I want to. Read this. Liked it. And with my magazines, I don't want to get rid of Odyssey. I don't want to get rid of Pitchfork. I'm going to get rid of this. These I'm just going to go in the trash because I know no one will want them. <laughs> I love how I'm just like literally judging my artwork. Ooh, I was really proud of this one. I put a little effort into this. I drew like a moth and a big moth. It's very interesting because it was for this poem, moths whose wings thicken with boredom from its ruined velocities fluttered down her acid windpipe to where ruby panes plummet in pulses, collecting in a gaping stupor, a cross-legged numbness that corresponds with the female moth. So essentially it mentioned like moths and it mentioned a lot of like pain and moths are literally my biggest phobia and I was like, you know what? I could just draw a huge ass looking moth, like looks really real and that would scare me a lot and it did but i drew it i'm really proud of myself so i'm gonna keep this one i loved this one the summer's bananas so i'm gonna get rid of one of the faragos and keeping the rest akira i'm keeping and this is gonna be on my immediate tbr now that the first one was so good sandman i'm keeping i love sandman alex and ada i'm getting rid of i didn't like this very much nausicaa i'm keeping i'm gonna read these eventually the psychology of love and treasure island i'm keeping these i haven't read them yet and house of leaves my favorite horror book that I've ever read. I love this so much and everyone should read it. Nearly there. Hold on. Hold on, phone. You got it. Why is it so hard? I'm doing it later. All right. Dan Brown. I'm keeping my Dan Brown. I haven't read it yet. This is new poster art. It's a graphic design. They just like put a just a bunch of like poster designs in it. One of my family friends got it for me when I was younger because I was really into graphic design. And you know what? I think I want to get more into graphic design again. I feel like I've lost myself a little bit. So I'm going to keep this. Naughty Stories for Book Boys and Girls. I like this a lot. I'm going to keep it. Give it to my children. Dracula. I've got a perfectly good copy of Dracula. And I'm going to get rid of it because I have two copies now. Keeping. Cold Comfort Farm. I'm keeping as well. It goes without saying that I'm keeping these. Actually, I think I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep these three that I know are genuine and then this one is a miyazaki art book you can tell it's not like legit i'm gonna unhold this and then some books that i actually didn't show in my bookshelf tour because i missed them i've got the quran which could be a good read I'm interested to read this eventually, so. One of my like weirder friends gave me these books. So yeah, I got the Quran. I've got Inferno by Dante. <laughs> really excited to read as well, weirdly. This looks really good. I'm like excited to read. I'm keeping that. And then I also got Essays in Idleness and Hajoki, classic Japanese literature. So I want to read this as well, so I'm keeping it. All right, and the last box. Let's do it. In here we have Sandra Clark books which I haven't read yet and I want to read, so I'm going to keep them. Also got 
Help by Catherine Stockett. This is my mum's copy, so I'm gonna see if my mum wants it. If she doesn't, I'm gonna unhaul this. That's all the books I have. I ended up unhauling. Let's see how many. I've unhauled 38 books. I'm pretty proud of myself, dude. I'm very happy. <laughs> I mean, I look over at all the books I still have on me, and I'm like, wow, I'm very far off being minimalistic with this, but it's still something. You know what I mean? So let's quickly look at how many books I'm still keeping. I want you to get a shot of my bed here. There is, oh my god, all the books on my bed that I'm keeping. It's absolutely ridiculous. Can I get like a nice shot like that of like, okay, this is like my thumbnail. <laughs> Thanks for watching that. I'm now going to put my bookshelf together, which is going to be ridiculously difficult with how I've sprawled out all my books across my bed because I'm just ridiculous like that and I don't actually think about what would be the best way to approach it all. I've had a lot of fun. I'm really proud of myself to get rid of 38 books. There's a tram going by. I gotta get used to this now that I live in the city. Yeah, thanks for watching and till my bookshelf organization video, I'll see you next time. Bye!